Black relatives weep at the funeral of a girl named Rosna, who would have turned 11 this month. She perished when a 7.2 magnitude quake hit Haiti's southern peninsula nearly two weeks ago. Her father, Ronald Louisjean, said she died shortly after the quake. The house collapsed with her inside. She wasn't dead yet, but I couldn't find people to help me get her out from under the wall. By the time I managed to find people to help me, she had passed on. I looked through my daughter's death, all for agony. Rosna was buried near the ruins of a house in Marceline. Over 2,200 people were killed in the earthquake in a nation that is still recovering from another devastating quake about a decade ago. In another part of town at a makeshift camp, women survivors talk about the difficult conditions they face and their fears for their safety and that of their children. We have no access to toilets. We can't pee. Everyone is looking at you. We need adequate space to wash. At any moment, you can see a torch. We don't know if they are from here or somewhere else because it's I have three children. We've been sitting here under sheets since Saturday. We can't go home because our house is destroyed. We have nowhere to live. On Thursday, the United States pledged more money in aid to the victims. U.S. Agency for International Development Administrator Samantha Powers speaking in Port-au-Prince with Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry. I am pleased here to announce that USAID will provide an additional $32 million as part of a broader American response. The Haitian government is facing a lot of challenges. We have political difficulties. We have economic difficulties. But despite all these issues, he says his government is doing its best to address the current challenges. Mariama Diallo, VOA News.